church Serp Amena Burgaj is situated in the eastern edge of a polity of Ani, the medieval capital of ancient Armenia. This archaeological city is situated in the northeast of Turkey, in the Kars province. It is 40 kilometers to the east from Kars city until the borders of Turkey-Armenia are reached. The borders are defined by a river called Ahurian in Armenian or Arpachai in Turkish and it is the limits of Ani archaeological site to the east. The site is placed on top of a polity limited by cliff valleys from three sides. Burgic is placed nearly 300 meters to the northeast of Cathedral, the most important building within the city, and in the eastern borders of city looking at Mumu Deresi or Gailadzor Valley very close to the gate opening to this valley. Different inscriptions on and around the church suggest priceless information about it. The very interesting and amazing reason of structure of this church is mentioned as In the year 1035, I, of the Garib Marzban, took an edict on behalf of Simbad Shah Shah to the Emperor of the Greek, Mikhail, at Constantinople, and with great effort and great expense, I brought a particle of the Holy Cross, and when I came, I completed this temple and erected the sign of light as a crown of the spouse of Christ. This precious part of relic is reported by inscriptions to be kept in the church until 14th century, when in the earthquake of 1390 the dam was damaged. The relic brought visitors to the church which lasted in construction of hostages close to church for guests only five years later. Structurally, 19 facet of building surrounds a circle of about 15 meter diameter in plan and eight apses shaped towards same center in the interior, but the eight apse is nearly twice bigger. The fact of owning 19 facets is unique in medieval Armenian architecture typology as structural methods resulted in even number facets. The only entrance door is situated at south and a hidden staircase was made inside western wall connecting ground level to the mid part of the church. Two very narrow chapels are placed in both sides of the large apse. Half domes on the apse continue till the fully circular drum connecting them to the upper dome. Twelve windows in a thinner wall are attaching the downer parts to a semicircular dome. The height of now standing part is nearly 22 meters and it's guessed that the original height was 25 meters. Interior frescoes showing figures of Apsles while reading or praying have been painted by artist Sargis Parshik in 1193 on the half domes inside the church. The painter himself is visible in his drawings asking for the mercy of God. Other inscriptions mention the addition of a bell tower at 1271 and a Jemitin some years later than that. After the damage of the church, a new dome was built under the supervision of the mayor of the city, Gregor, at 1342. Not any documents are left from travelers visiting Ani before 19th century. The engraving of Brasset is the oldest document showing the state of building in 1860, where the dam and some parts of lower levels were already damaged. Lynch had mentioned his concerns about church collapse in his notes after his visit from site at 1894. Only some years later, Arshak Fetvaji on watercolor painted the church with its details proving Lynch's concerns. When Nikolai Mar was excavating the site at 1913, Church's unstable condition urged them for some interventions and documentation of it. The team filled blank parts of western and eastern walls with a differentiable material. The initial sketches of the church's plan and its surrounding are now being kept at the Institute of Material Culture of Russian Academy of Science Archive, which gave very important information about the church and its context in the city. The surrounding of the church and parts that Marstin has excavated and probably later filled in are obvious in sketches.
Berkach was also documented and measured by Toro Soromanian, the famous architect who has studied Ani, which was published in his book and is now based on the ongoing study about the church. The church faced its tragic incident when firelight crashed into two parts and the eastern part collapsed at the afternoon of summer 1957. At 1998, the main door was filled with rubble stone masonry and some interventions were done on walls by the Historical Heritage Protection Foundation to help the stabilization of the left half of building. The church was scanned and documented and historic preservation project was prepared for Berkic in 2008 under the supervision of VMF and Turkish Ministry of Culture. Later, the fallen part was excavated and the survived pieces were numbered and carried to shelter spaces to be protected. Those parts were also scanned and partially identified. Since 2012, some conservative interventions have been done on building. Wall paint analyses were also done on the interior frescoes. After architectural and structural survey, the emergency stabilizing works started. Normal settlement of building and its reaction to natural forces, notably wind, is being monitored by professional group at Ankara. This process will continue until the church is in a long-term stabilized condition and controls will continue until demanded. While fixing the problems of the church, visits to it is limited to fences that avoid visitors to get any possible harm from crashes of buildings. An information table has been designed in two languages for the visitors to get quick overview on the heritage they are watching from some more steps away. Even though the half church has survived for almost a thousand years, it may not gain its original function or form anymore, but it's going to live with its visitors for the next generation as a glorious world heritage.